The high fashion industry has never really been considered one of social responsibility or environmental consciousness. Take for example a 2014 report that accused fashion brand Hugo Boss of paying workers in Croatia about one third of what's considered a living wage there. Meanwhile, a wool coat from Hugo Boss would run you up to about $1,000. And Hugo Boss was just one of the many companies that's been implicated over the years of exploiting their workforce or using a massive amount of resources to turn out their goods. An estimated 10% of global carbon emissions are said to now come from the creation of clothing. But there's another ugly side of the high fashion industry that's existed widely, but is little talked about. The practice of companies burning their excess inventory in order to avoid liquidating products at lower prices. The practice is contended to be one of brand protection, but when British clothing maker Burberry revealed in a July earnings report that it had burned $37 million in goods last year, they faced some major backlash on social media. But Burberry isn't the only label out there that would rather destroy their unsold goods than see them with a clearance sticker on them, or gasp, donated. Louis Vuitton is known for burning its $1,000 handbags in order to retain their exclusivity, and watchmaker Richemont, the owner of Cartier and Mont Blanc, is said to have destroyed a half a billion dollars worth of watches in two years. Last week, Burberry said that it would revise its practice of burning stock, and that, quote, modern luxury means being socially and environmentally responsible, a belief the company says is, quote, core to Burberry in its long-term success. Or perhaps more core is the brand's desperate willingness to do everything it can to avoid a scandal, or worse, a boycott of its signature plaid. At the same time, the company has also announced that it will no longer use real fur in its designs. Perhaps then Burberry's public thrashing from consumers and shareholders will help shine some light on the burning practice and encourage or shame others enough to follow suit. That said, it's important to note that it's pretty hypocritical to point fingers only at corporations. For their part, American consumers send about 85% of their unwanted textiles to landfills every year. So it seems there's some work to do there as well. I'm Anna Wells and this is IEN Now.